you guys are looking to buy FIFA coins with fast delivery and cheap prices or open up FIFA packs on a brand new website for real coin totals, check out FIFACoinZone.com and use the code HABER to get yourself 5% off. So a few days ago, somebody by the name of JezFPS posted this post on Reddit and it said, EA recently added a bunch of new players into the game that have a lot of flashback potential. Now this gave me a good idea on a video that I wanted to make. I wanted to make a video on players that really should have flashbacks in the game but don't have flashbacks in the game currently and players that I think we will see throughout FIFA 19 get flashbacks that haven't got them already because there is a huge list of players that potentially could have flashbacks. So I really wanted to make a video on this and sort of... Uh, I don't know, just go through them and go through which ones I think deserve flashbacks and which ones should get flashbacks, etc. Uh, these are the ones he came up with. He thought Eremenko, Ben Arthur and Martinez. And now I actually do agree on Ben Arthur and I'll show you guys my prediction for Ben Arthur. Uh, the other two, I mean, in terms of FIFA, would be great. Uh, do I think that they should get them over some of the other players that I've got here? Probably not, but they would be fantastic to get on the list, especially that Jackson Martinez card. Big fan of him. I used to love him back in the day. He was absolutely fantastic. Uh, so I thought we'd jump straight into it and, uh, and start looking at some potential flashback cards. So my first pick is Radamel Falcao. Now, I said Radamel. Radamel. Radamel Falcao. I apologize. Now, a lot of people are like, he just got an SBC. He did. He just got an SBC. That's very true. However, he just got a UEFA uh, Europa League moments card, not a flashback card. I think if he got a flashback card, it would have much better stats because it wouldn't be the stats of a card that they give in like just a few upgrades to the actual base card. It'd be a card that has stats based on like a previous card or based on like previous years uh, playing football. So he'd have better pace. I feel like he'd definitely have better dribbling and shooting. Uh, his physical should be even more up there because he was uh, incredible in the air and you know, heading the ball and whatnot. So I think that uh, he should definitely deserve a flashback card. He's got all, he ticks all the boxes for me to deserve a flashback card. He's had a fantastic career. He's had a long career and I think that he definitely deserves a flashback card without a shadow of a doubt. I'm not 100% sure what criteria EA try to, to sort of use or what criteria EA go for when they're, they're trying to pick their new flashbacks and whatnot. Uh, however, I think that if they were going for a, a particular criteria, um, I would I would personally, if I was looking for a flashback, I'd look for, for a player that's, that's probably around 30 or above. Uh, the age 30 or above, uh, that has had uh, a fantastic career with loads of trophies and whatnot, and pick a flashback moment for maybe a cup run, maybe a, a Champions League run, maybe a, a hat trick in a Champions League game, or, or a hat trick in a cup game, or maybe a goal in a final, something like that. You know, like that's what that is the criteria I would follow, and that's sort of the criteria I have followed. Uh, I've also tried to follow criteria of like previous FIFA cards as well, um, and like previous FIFA like like acknowledgements and, and like SBC cards, for example. You, I'll talk more about. About them when I actually reach those ones in particular. Um, but that's sort of the criteria I've followed for this. Now let me know down below if there's any in this video you don't see and you want to see. I want to see them in the comments down below. Let me know which ones you want to see. I'm very interested in seeing what flashbacks you think deserve to be in the game. The next one is one I've seen all over Twitter and it is David Villa. I think David Villa definitely deserves a flashback. David Villa was a beast back in the day um, and undoubtedly does not have the most of amazing cards on FIFA at the minute. He's currently got a pretty underwhelming card on FIFA. Uh, in previous years he's had like end of an era SBCs he's had like like uh, man of the matches he's had informs he's had like team of the seasons and whatnot and, and some fantastic cards back in the day and I think that he should get one in FIFA 19 the way I see it the flashbacks, of course, are going to have a value in SBC. So if you give them a really nice card, you're going to give them more of a value in SBC. But the way I, I base them on is, for example, Ibrahimovic has a fantastic fantastic flashback and it was only 150k now maybe that was a one-off from ea i'm not entirely sure but arguably david villa is in just as obscure a club now i do have his his new york city badge on there as opposed to his um his i don't know the the name for the japanese club that he went to because I don't know if he's on loan at the Japanese club or whether he fully transferred to the Japanese club. I'm not entirely sure. I put that on there to be safe, but he could just be fully at the Japanese club. So uh, that, that's why I put the New York badge on uh, on on his card. Because if he's only at loan, he might he might get a New York badge. For example, I, I don't know. It's, it, it's possible. Uh, that's why I put the New York badge on him for uh, for for that though. Because uh, you never know. He could have a he could get a New York badge card or whatnot. But 
Uh, but yeah, he's had a fantastic he's had a fantastic career and he's had some fantastic cards and I think that he should definitely deserve it. Uh, and if he did, I don't think he'd be that expensive an SBC either, which is fantastic. So hopefully EA bring out some cheap flashback SBCs that make the game fun because that is what I'm looking forward to. Let's jump into the next one. Next up is Vincent Company. Uh, Vincent Company having uh, I think. A, a, an end of an era or a special SBC card last year for the, I want to say, FA Cup or I know it was a cup. I can't remember if it was Domestic League Cup or whether it was FA Cup or what it was, uh, but he got a special SBC card last year. So I've based it around that card because they did just win the uh, the FA Cup, I think, again. Was it the FA Cup or the League Cup? Again, I'm I'm kind of out of it. I'll be honest with you. I'm kind of tired today. Uh, my, br my brain isn't working as, as well as it should do today, but... Uh, I kind of based it on that. I gave him some like boosted defensive and physical stats and, and not really too boosted anywhere else. But I think this would also be a card that would be done given that it wasn't like a hugely expensive card. If it was around the 100k mark, I think a lot of people would probably do this card because it's it's a Premier League player. Uh, he gets the Belgian links. Obviously, we've had that new SVC Boyata, so he could get a link to that. And it doesn't look like that bad of a card, to be fair. Give him good physical stats, give him good uh, defensive stats, and he probably could be a decent centre-back. And of course, we've just had David Luiz, so if you partner them both, it's like a, a flashback back line. It's kind of cool. Uh, but that's the reason why I thought that he could get a flashback card as well. Um, as well as, you know, all the other competitions he's won. He's won the Premier League, God knows how many times. He's won, like, League Cups. He's won everything. He, he's done a really well in his career. So I just thought I'd give him this card. Um, and I think he's probably deserved as well. Now, Jamie Vardy. He's having a party, apparently. That's what I've heard. I... <laughs> Anyway, uh, the reason I've given Jamie Vardy a flashback card is because a few years ago, if you didn't know, Jamie Vardy broke the Premier League record for most, con I, th I think it was uh, consecutive goals, or it was consecutive goals at the start of the, the, the year in consecutive matches, and I believe he scored 11 in 11, and it beat Ruud van Nistelrooy's 10 in 10 now. Don't quote me on that, because that might be one game off. It might have been... 12 and 12 as opposed to 11 and 11. Anyway, um, the reason I'm giving him that is because I thought he could get a flashback card based on that. Uh, I know he did get a special card, I think, in FIFA for like a record breaker card, and it could just um, completely mimic that record breaker card. In fact, let me actually have a look at that record breaker card and see uh, what rating it was. I think it was in foot 17. I want to say it was in foot 17. So this was the card that Jamie Vardy got for breaking that record. Now, uh, my flashback card looks pretty similar. It doesn't look exactly the same, but it looks pretty similar. Um, I think that is pretty, pretty, pretty accurate. I think that he should get a card like this. I think that's probably very well deserved, considering he did break the record, and it was a very hard record. Given that Leicester, Jamie Vardy was never seen as a fantastic player in the past. Like he was never seen as someone incredible. So the fact that he broke the record, everyone's like, whoa. This guy's incredible, you know, so I think this would be a very nice card to get in FIFA and I think that he probably definitely deserves a flashback card um, and maybe they mimic the completely the stats of this record breaker card. I, I think that's probably probably fair and these ads footwears are in, they're crazy, man. There's so many ads. Next up, we've got Cesc Fabregas. Now, this could be a flashback all the way from back to his Arsenal days. Like, it doesn't have to be like a Chelsea flashback or anything like that. I think that he probably could get a flashback all the way back to his Arsenal days. That would be pretty cool if he, if he did do something like that. Um, I think Fabregas definitely deserves a flashback, uh, whether it be a flashback to his Arsenal days or whether it be a flashback to like a good game for Chelsea, whether it be a flashback to when he went to the Spanish League or whatever. I don't know, like Monaco. Um, who knows for Cesc Fabregas? Uh, but I think it'd be pretty cool to get like a really dope Cesc Fabregas card. Um, it, it'd be dope to have him in like a Ligue 1 team. He links to like Neymar and Mbappe and whatnot. He gets a link to that new special SBC uh, uh, Rabio, for example. I think it'd be pretty cool to get this card. Uh, and it's definitely, I can see EA doing it. I really can see EA doing it. I, I, I think that it's definitely possible for EA to do that. So hopefully uh, we do get a card similar like this. I, th I, think, I think it's deserved. In my opinion, it is deserved. Next up is one I actually haven't seen anyone else talk about. It's Arturo Vidal. Uh, obviously being a flashback to when he was at Bayern Munich. He did so much at Bayern Munich and he was actually a fantastic player as well as Juventus as well as Juventus You know, he was at Bayern Munich for I think three or four years I believe it was when they won the Champions League and beat Dortmund in the final um, And don't quote me on that because I actually could be wrong um, But he did a lot of Juventus as well. He did he did a lot of Juventus a lot of, at Bayern Munich. So 
I think that he definitely could get a flashback card. And if he did get a flashback card, I think it'd look something like this and actually make him pretty usable. I think the flashbacks are a little bit of an excuse for EA to make use, uh, unusable cards a little bit more usable and, and get a coin value for them. Uh, so I could see uh, Arturo Vidal getting one. And I, I, I would definitely do this. I would do this SBC. If the card looks somewhere like that, I would 100% do it. And if, if EA copied my idea right now, then I need to be paid a royalty and I need to be paid a... Uh, to be part of the 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 team, I need to be a part of the 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 creative dev team and the people that do content on the game. All right, you know my details, sort of, probably not. Anyway, um, but I think this is definitely something that should happen. I would love to see a Dator of Adele uh, flashback SBC, and I already know. I want to throw this out there now for those that are still watching the video. I already know there's going to be a lot of people in the comments saying this person doesn't deserve a flashback. Don't give it to this person. Why are you doing this? Why should this guy get it? I don't think people realize that it's nothing political and it's nothing football related that I am doing this for. I just want to see some cool cards in FIFA. And if you're going to be negative about it and be like, nah, nah, don't get this guy, don't get this guy. You're forgetting how fun it would be to use these cards in FIFA. It's just about FIFA. It's not about like who was the best footballer or anything like that. Like a lot of people are going to get offended because their favorite football is not in it or their favorite football is less rated than their least favorite footballer. And they need to remember it's about content in FIFA and it would be fun content in FIFA. It's not about making people happy because their favorite team has got 11 flashbacks and have a full flashback squad, you know? That's just what I want to throw that out there now. 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 I said now three times. I was about to say, now the next player is Iniesta. This card would be fantastic. I based this uh, around one of his previous Team of the Year cards. If you guys remember back in the day, the Team of the Year midfield used to consist of, of Iniesta, Cruz, and Xavi. Back in the day, for like four years running, it was like the same midfield and attack and defense. It was always like um, Ramos, PK, Dani Alves, Marcelo, uh, maybe it was like Cassias in net or, or, or Neuer in net. And then it was like Xavi, Iniesta and Cruz. And then it was like Messi, Ronaldo. And, and sometimes it'd be Neymar. Other times it'd be Suarez. Other times it'd be, you know, whoever was doing well at the time. And, and I, uh, you know, we've had exceptions. Obviously, we've got like Di Maria that one year. We've had Pogba that one year. Um, but usually it was right, literally the same midfield. So I based this around one of his ex team of the year cards. And I think he should get, I definitely think he should deserve a flashback. He was incredible back in the day for Barcelona. He was a fantastic player and also for Spain internationally. Like he played fantastically for Spain. Um, he contributed heavily to Spain World Cup wins. Uh, so I think that he definitely deserves a flashback. This is one that I would love to see in the game and would complete as well because having him in the midfield like bring him on in like the 70th minute obviously his stamina would be really low but bring him on 70th minute and he just pull the strings for like the last 20 minutes of the game and and hopefully like get some assists or, or score a goal or whatnot I, i'd be very excited for this card so next up this is one way back would definitely want in the game it is a flashback Gignac. Gignac the big mac now this would definitely be a like i used to love Gignac. uh i think that's how you say his name it might be gignac uh back in the day um in like FIFA 14, he got like a team of the season card that was like, uh, it had like 85 pace and like 90 something shooting and he was absolutely incredible in the game. I used to love that card. Uh, so I wanted to uh, bring back a flashback card because although he does play in the uh, in the Liga Bancoma MX, it doesn't mean that he's, he's, he's not achieved anything in his career, you know, like, like it is, uh, it's seen as a league that isn't as important as other, other leagues, but it's still, you know, he's still done a lot in his career and he, he's had a very admirable career and I think that he definitely deserves uh, a flashback card. He's, he's a very, very good player. Um, He's had, obviously, the, the I think he had the Player of the Year award this year, SBC-wise, and he's had, like, an inform and whatnot, and I would love to see this card in the game uh, and make him way more usable, have decent pace and whatnot. So hopefully we can get this card. That would be fantastic. Uh, and I'd really, I would use this card as well. This card, he, he just brings back a lot of memories of, of previous FIFAs. He was, he was a beast back in the day, and I, I'd love to use this card again. Another one I haven't seen anybody at all talk about is Jermaine Defoe. And if you don't think Jermaine Defoe deserves a flashback, then... You haven't ever watched Jermaine Defoe. This guy was a beast back in the day. And I think that he definitely deserves a flashback. This card would probably be very cheap. Uh, not very usable. But it would definitely be a card that maybe someone with a cheap England team would appreciate. Or maybe someone with a cheap Premier League. Uh, Premier League, what am I talking about? Maybe someone that gets like a the links to him with a, with, with a English Premier League players maybe would like as well. It would be a fantastic card off the bench, I think. And, and hopefully uh, a card that we could get. Because... He was a beast back in the day. I'd love it. I think it'd just be nostalgia purposes and whatnot. So hopefully we can get this card. That'd be great. 
Um, definitely have it in the game, I think. I, I would happily have it. I know he's at Rangers, so it doesn't actually help, like, links and stuff like that. But he was a beast back in the day. I still remember, I think it was FIFA 17, where he got a special card with, like, Peter Crouch, like, the two end of an era SBCs and whatnot. Um, so it'd be dope if he got, like, a flashback to commemorate that. That'd be pretty cool. Next up, one people have been actually asking for for a long, long, long time. It is a flashback Hulk. I'd love to see this card. Uh, I, I really do like Hulk. I think he's, he's one of the the most powerful shooters of the ball his shot power is just unreal it's it's genuinely lethal i think that if he full powered a shot and it hit you it would potentially kill you you know like like he can hit a ball so hard it's absolutely crazy but i would like to see this flashback that'd be pretty dope um obviously it'd be difficult to link him being in the chinese league but maybe you get like a perfect link to like Oh, sorry, get like a strong link to Talisca or like a, a link to Paulinho or something like that. And it'd probably help out a lot. Um, but this guy was a beast back in the Russian League. Uh, and I think that he'd probably get a flashback based on maybe a team of the season he got back in the Russian League. Uh, that'd be pretty cool, though. I'd put him as striker. He'd probably be right wing. I think I'd prefer it right wing as well. Um, but if it was a striker, I wouldn't complain. I think it'd be dope. So hopefully we can't get something like this. Next up again, I'm surprised I haven't seen a lot more people talking about this. What about a flashback Bastian Schweinsteiger? This guy was a beast back at my... I'm joking. <laughs> I was about to say Man United. I'm, I'm kidding. Uh, back at Bayern Munich, this guy did everything with Bayern Munich. And Germany as well. So, if he doesn't deserve a flashback, I don't know who does. Bastian Schweinsteiger was incredible back in the day. So, give this man a, a flashback. And plus, I, I did like him. Even though he didn't really play at Man United, I did like him. So, it would be nice if we got a flashback. And we kind of did him a disservice in my united so this is my kind of way of redeeming it. i don't know anyway i just i would like to see it basically i would really like to see it uh please yeah now for the obvious ones i think everybody's already talked about this is uh frank ribery is one of the most obvious ones uh everyone's talking about this literally everyone's talking about this but it'd be dope to get a frank ribery uh flashback sbc i think it's definitely deserved um he was a beast and is a beast still is a beast by the way but he was a beast back in the day he was so quick back in the day as well i give him 89 pace he probably deserves like 95 but i didn't want to go too hard because i think that if ea give him a 95 paced card they probably try and see that as a warrant to give him like a 400k flashback which just isn't realistic um but it'd be dope to get this card nonetheless uh it'd be dope uh, and obviously like his his teammates coming up as you guys already know uh you can already guess by the way but um this would be a dope card to get this would be fantastic to get i really would i really would like to see this card in the game obviously having five star skills it'd be a lot of fun to use as you probably already guessed just flip that french flag around a little bit and you got the dutch hero that is i am robin definitely deserves a flashback as well incredible 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 card and i really hope he does get a flashback uh he was a beast and is a beast but was a beast at Bayern. you know what i mean like he is still a beast but he was a beast at Bayern. um he was actually fantastic back in the day and uh, obviously he scored the winner in the uh, uh final against Borussia dortmund in the champions league final he scored several goals for for uh holland uh he scored incredible goals for bayern munich he, i still remember that half volley i think it was against my united uh, it was just insane so definitely deserves a flashback he's just done insane things in his career and obviously one of the best players in the world back in his day so definitely deserves a flashback card last but not least is nanny now nanny actually uh sparked uh an end of an era sbc like what everyone wanted the end of an era sbc because he moved from sporting to uh, orlando uh but everyone's now talking for a flashback nanny which i wouldn't complain about if we got a flashback nanny from when he was back at man united that'd be absolutely fantastic he was a beast at man united i really enjoyed him uh he brought so much flair to the game and i will never forget that he did set up bruni for that overhead kick as well so that, that does have to flashback alone, but I'd love a, a nanny because he's got five star, five star. He'd be pacey, he'd be having incredible dribbling. He'd just be a lot of fun to use. So EA, please give us a nanny. And that is it. So there are all the flashbacks. Let me know which ones you want the most and which ones you don't think deserves it. Maybe players that I haven't included that do deserve it. Let me know down below in the comments. I'd love to hear your feedback and your opinions and whatnot. And I'd love to, to hear more from you guys. So thank you all for watching. I really appreciate the support recently. Uh, thank you all for subscribing and liking and making my video part of your day. I appreciate that. And I'll see you later.